Hello everyone. Today we're gonna have exterior angle theorem. This is the second part. I will put the link of the video, the first part in the description box below. So before we jump into the theorem that we have over here, let's determine the parts of the triangle first. So this angle B right here and this angle A are called the remote interior angle. So this is remote interior angle. And then this one right here is also remote interior angle. Okay, interior means they are inside the triangle. This one right here is the exterior angle because it is located on the outside. Now, here's the thing. Given the triangle on the left, the measure of angle D, which is the exterior angle, is the sum of the two remote interior angles. If we add A plus B, so whatever the measures of angle A and angle B, if we add them up, that is equal to the exterior angle. This is the exterior angle theorem. Okay, let's have an example to better see um, how this formula works. So let's take this example right here. So we're supposed to solve for X. So we're given a triangle, so these are the two remote interior angles, and this is the exterior angle. Again, we add the two remote, so that would be 55 degrees plus 27 degrees equals the exterior angle is X. So pretty much we add these two together. So 55 plus 27 is 82. So then our X is 82 degrees. So this is 82 right here. And that makes sense because if you add 55 plus 27 is 82. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done and pause it and check your answer. Okay, what do we, what do you have for this? Let's go over this. We start with X, I mean, writing the interior angles first. So that is X plus 43 equals the exterior angle is 127 degrees. So then from here, we subtract 43 from both sides. So minus 43 and minus 43. So then we can cross the 43 out. So we are left with X equals 84 degrees. So the measure of this angle right here is 84. And that makes sense because if we add 84 plus 43 is 127. Now this time around, what's going to happen if we are given expressions? There's no difference on this. All we need to do is just to set them up and um, um, solve for X. So in this case right here, we are going to write the interior angles first. So that would be 4X plus 2 plus 2X equals 9. So these are the two interior, um, remote interior angles. And that is equal to the exterior, which is 5X plus 13 which is the exterior. Now this time around, I would uh, encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. Solve for X and when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, we go over this. So first we are going to combine like terms. So we have 4X plus 2X would come out 6X. So I'm gonna write 6X right here. And then we have um, two, I mean, constant two minus nine is negative seven. So I write negative seven right here is equal to five X plus 13. So I group like terms, minus five X from both sides, minus five X right here. So then we can cross the five X out. So we're left with six X minus five X is just one X. So I can just go ahead and write X minus seven equals 13. And so from here, I'm going to add 7 to both sides. So plus 7 and plus 7 here. So this one gets crossed out. So our X is 20. So that is the value of X. Did you get the same answer as this? 20? Good. Perfect. So the X here is 20. Now we are supposed to find for angle C. So what are we going to do is we plug the values into the expression, which is, uh, we say that it is 20. So I go ahead and write four times 20 
plus 2. So 4 times 20 is 80. 80 plus 2 is 82. So this is 82 degrees. And then I do the same thing for this other remote interior angle. So that would be 2 times 20 was the x. So 2 times 20 minus 9. 2 times 20 is 40. 40 minus 9 is 31 degrees. So I can go ahead and write angle C here is 82 degrees. Angle D is 31 degrees. And so I uh, pl uh, plug in the values of x again to this uh, exterior angle. So that would be 5 times 20 plus 13. Um, that's going to be 5 times 20 is 100. 100 plus 13 is this um, angle right here is 113 degrees. So A, B, D, A, B, D. So this corner right here is 113. And this makes sense because if we add 82 plus 31 is 113. Did you get all of these correct? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.